All right, y'all, welcome back to the Engine the Same Show. March the 2nd, man. 901 Wrestling is coming back to the Black Lodge for another big show. We got the two guys from the main event. Now, we ain't never done this before, Kenny. We've had 901 Wrestling on a, a bunch. We ain't never had the actual main event in here at the same damn time. All right, now, here's my question. Last time Bobby was in here, we got had his to, ass whooped. Like, got his ass whooped, number one. <laughs> <laughs> we had to call... Bring up old shit. Like, we had to call, we had to call Tommy and say, man, yeah, y'all, man. Y'all, y'all messed up our studio, right. man. Oh, are we going to have, in, are we gonna kind of have issues tonight? Funny. Like, that's what I want to know. You, th- you thought it was funny? I mean, if I was here, I'd have jumped on it, but it was kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, after the fact, in hindsight, you know. He, you, call, you called me after, so Make I sure you you're in okay. the mic. Uh, uh, you called me after, are, so are I, knew, I knew you were okay. It, Look what they did to the star of the show. They made me hold the microphone. <laughs> man, I don't have a stand. Hey, hey I mean, what it is, man. The champ does hey, get some special got privileges. The you get the you mic. Gotta hold this yeah, thing. I worked real hard to get you here. Hold you got to hold that thing, too. They didn't give me headphones, though. Only only saying He's got the headphones. So in just case y'all do not know who these gentlemen are, you should, because I'm sure y'all been going to all the more wrestling. Shows as I have, uh, but got my guy Andy Mack, the star of the show. Got my boy Bobby Ford, nine on one wrestling champion. Bobby Ford, big things going down March the second. Go to go to the website. Y'all tell them the website, man. I don't, I can't remember where it is. So we're gonna be like a thing right here. Yeah, I'll Might, put it in there. Yeah, right. Nine on one wrestling dot com. Right at it right now. Tell me, am I pointing at it right now? Yeah, you point pointing, pointing right, right at it. Yeah, nine that's one March second. Nine on one wrestling dot com. Dot com. That's right. That's All right, let's talk about the interesting dynamic between you brothers. I know that y'all are real good friends. I think the word they use is bromance. <laughs> that, that don't sound right coming out of my mouth. <laughs> so you take off. So you won't hear that again. But uh, <laughs> what year know. is it? We're bromance. This is we 2024. Just a couple bros broing out, you know. So out. I know just you guys. Are, uh, I know you guys are really good friends. I know that uh, you know Andy brought you into the business, trained you, all those type of things. Yes, sir. Andy, you've been in the in the, in the game for a minute. You've been in the game for a long just time. A minute. Nobody's held the belt more times than you That's in true. none of our wrestling history. What? How did you guys friendship get started? How did y'all get into the industry to go? Well, if I may, go ahead. Yeah, yeah go you ahead. tell uh, that. <laughs> um, Bobby Ford was in the house. <clears throat> Uh, sitting back row uh, at a 901 wrestling show in like mid to late 2018. 19. Was it 19? Was it all the way in 19? It, it was April so of 19. I was, actually was uh, challenging and won a rematch, which made me the second. That was my second 901 championship. Mm-hmm. Uh, I won a 901 title match against the champion at the time, actually Ken Dang, mm-hmm. <laughs> ironically enough. And, uh, Bobby was there, and I get in my car after the show. I'm going to leave, and there's a dude in a car next to me. He rolls a window down. He starts yelling at me. He says, hey, and I look, and it's him, and he's a little buzz cut, and he says, uh, hey, man, you're Andy Mack. And I was like, yeah, man, what's up? <laughs> and he looked at me, and his eyes got all big, just like mm-hmm. this. And he said, hey, I want to do what you do. Mm-hmm. All right, man, we're always, look, I'll give anybody a shot, and we're always looking for help. So I was like, look, this day, this time, show up, help us throw the ring up. We'll see what kind of attitude mm-hmm. you got. You know, and uh, he showed up, and he helped, and he had a good attitude for a little bit, and then he had a bad attitude for a little bit, and we straightened that up real quick. <laughs> Probably and, do that. <laughs> yeah, don't know need straightening, but straightening. Uh, nobody knows better than me, uh, but... Basically, that was kind of how he got in, started on the ring crew, and uh, <clears throat> worked his way up. Eventually, we got to a spot where he was ready to start actually training. So uh, I worked with him. I trained him um, in, in, in the middle of, uh, middle of the summer. It was hot. Outside. Outside. No AC, sun, and, uh, which was great because, you know, that type of thing breeds, mm-hmm. you know, it breeds a certain toughness. It breeds a certain desire. And it, takes, it takes a certain desire just to be yeah. there. Mm-hmm. So anyway, that's how he got his start. That was all happening during the pandemic, mm-hmm. the majority of his training. So okay. by the time 901 Wrestling was ready to so relaunch. So you all COVID brothers in there, though. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, and we man, were getting, we were yeah, we, roommates we got, COVID. yeah, we got tight during all that. We got <laughs> yeah, tight during all it was, that. It was tough for on everybody. Um, I was glad to have somebody, you know, kind of helping me, mm-hmm. you know, guide me through it, you know, in more ways than one, so. So, so you say, see, I had it totally wrong. So y'all were not friends before any of it. Y'all met through wrestling. I'm, I I met Andy Mack by wanting to be a wrestler. Wow. I, I didn't was, know that. I thought I was y'all at, were like guys like before the audition. I was at the rec room, and uh, and like like you said, I saw I saw the matches. I saw the everything that night, and I said, I want to do this. And, mm-hmm. and from day one, I really believed I could. Mm-hmm. You know, I guess I never – I didn't predict anything. I didn't expect anything. I didn't expect to be holding this. But I, I knew that I had potential. I knew that I had the ability to get in there and, and do it. 
So, you know, from that day, you know, I, that's what I pursued. And throughout all that, we kind of just became tight friends, you know. Right. It, so I ain't trying to be messy, bro, but just being real. Oh, really? How, how I know y'all really cool? Like, like how I know that, like, since y'all met in this industry. Because mm-hmm. I've been the last show, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, mm-hmm. Bobby was saying, bro, I want you to be the first somebody I beat. Like, being real, man, don't bullshit me. You have to feel a way that the guy that you training is holding the belt that you had, you've had four times. I mean, let's be real. I know y'all cool, but y'all weren't cool before this. Y'all met doing this shit, bro. Right. So, right. Um. I mean, I want it, you know, I, yeah. I always want it, right? Mm-hmm. I, I came back to 901 because I wanted it. I wanted more, mm-hmm. right? I, you know, I'm the most prolific champion that we've ever had. Mm-hmm. Not to toot my own horde, you know. A lot of people think that I have some sort of ego star mm-hmm. on the show. Uh, but, yes, I want, what are you giggling about? What I want. <laughs> you said it, so I didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want the title, but at the same time, like, you know, I, I saw this guy, you know, I saw him take mm-hmm. his first punch, you know. Right. I saw him, I saw him develop. You know, big whelps under his arm from running the ropes. I saw, I saw him get just so gassed, and and I saw him, I saw him work so hard that he puked. You know, I saw him mm-hmm. do all that, right? So, so, you know, and yeah, you know what? He also beat me on his way to that title, right? right. Um, so, you know, there, there's it's it's very weird feeling. Look, I get what you're getting at, right? Mm-hmm. To get beat by a guy and then also be so happy for him and so proud when he succeeds, but. You know, you want your friends to succeed. You want people that you care about to do mm-hmm. well, and uh, especially, you know, not to again, not to insert myself, but like <laughs> when you have your own hand, you know, when mm-hmm. you have a bit of a hand in it, right? Like I'm not here to take full credit. Like mm-hmm. he he fought the fight, right? He beat a guy that I didn't beat, right? But yeah, so that's kind of the, you know, help me out here. I'm starting to stammer. Uh, you feel like you and Andy Shadow man. Uh, you know, <laughs> you do want to get messy. That's yours. Uh, how do you preface this with "I'm not trying to get messy in here"? <laughs> hey, it's been, and hey, then proceed. We're here man. So let's do it. Maybe the messiest questions that you can ask. I mean, y'all are wrestlers, man. Y'all, y'all want to get in the ring and, and, and try to knock each other's head there, off. There is a special type of person who's willing to get in that ring and do this. Yeah. And you have to have that competitive drive and nature in in a, a myriad. That's a SAT word if you don't know it. Myriad yeah. mm-hmm. of, of ways you have to have that in you to go out there and do what we do. And like he said, and like you said, it would be very easy for me to feel like I was an Andy shadow, right? Four time champ, the whole way out, the the whole time I've been coming up and progressing as a wrestler, he's been the guy in nine one wrestling. Mm -hmm. And and I think in the city and beyond, I I think Andy Mack's one of the best wrestlers on earth right now. Mm -hmm. And I'll say that confidently, but it's hard to be in somebody's shadow when you're holding this. Hey, Hey, ABX out this though. When y'all come out together and the crowd is cheering, right? The crowd going crazy. Who are they cheering for? <laughs> so uh, so back to what I was. <laughs> I'm just, hey, man. Hey, this is Andrew the same show. This guy, man. I ain't going to come in here playing. Hey, y'all about to fight, man. Y'all, I, you know, to, y'all I ain't going to go out there and do a two step. I get it. Controversy. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all y'all ain't for the dance. Y'all for the wrestle. Y'all yes, for the yeah, fight for the, for the belt, right? You know, and, and we're. We've been friends this long. Yeah. You know, we're going to go. Hopefully, y'all will be friends after this. We're going to go into this match as, yeah. as brothers in this. You know, when we yeah. come out together, like you said, we've we've tagged all over the area, mm. you know, not just at 901. There's a, there's a little symbol hey, we throw y'all up. Go I, back, man. I throw up a four, and Andy throws up an L. It's right, it's right there. there. Yeah. And that means for life. And you've probably seen some other people do that, you know? Yeah. I don't think, it might mean loss for one of y'all. No, it's going to mean a loss for one of y'all. Say it somebody too. has to lose. Somebody got to lose. And somebody has to win. Mm hmm. You always want to see your people win. And that's what he was getting at when he said, you know, I, I did beat Andy in the 9-1 Wrestling Classic Finals. Right. I, I pinned him in the middle of the ring. And the first thing he did when he came to, because that DDT will put you, you know, he'll be seeing, yeah. seeing birds for good. a minute. It's pretty good. Uh, he congratulated me. He was right there. You know, he looked me in the eyes. He congratulated me. And, and I knew he meant it. And that's, that's important because so many people will support you uh, not publicly yeah, or too publicly and not mean it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's important when you shit, feel man. real support from somebody that, like Andy said, he's watched me every step of the way. He's watched my progression. And it, at times, yeah, you, you do feel like you're in somebody's shadow. But I did something nobody's ever done. I beat Hunter Hattie at, at 901 Wrestling. Put him on his ass. In the Black Lodge. You know? I so saw that's, it. That's big. Hunter took that belt from me. I ain't Andy. seen his ass since then, to be honest with you. You know, and me neither. Hey. <laughs> and, you. and Hunter took that belt from Andy. So I think, you know... And in a lot of ways, this is kind of the match that had to happen and probably the biggest match that's happened in this city in decades. Facts. 
Probably did. I Probably did for sure. The Coliseum's been closed for 17 years. Yeah. So. But, but here it is, man. Two of the greatest champions, and now the one rest in history. They're going at it. They best friends right now, but when the thing goes ding ding ding, it's going down. I'm trying to tell you at the Black Lodge. Oh, March the second. <laughs> get, get your tickets, man. Andy Mack, Bobby Ford, gentlemen, appreciate y'all coming on today, man. It's going down. March the second. It's just a few weeks. It's going down to Black Lodge. Get your tickets, man. We got the website down there. It's been down there probably the whole time. Andy Mack, Bobby Ford. Going in for the championship. Right now they're brothers, but in a minute. It's going down on March the 2nd. We'll see it's you guys in a minute. It's you gotta better go take down. a break. It's got to go down. Hey, hey, when y'all get done talking, it's got to go down. I'll tell you what, about to take a break. When we come back, it's going to be more than Anthony the Same Show. See y'all in a minute.